Hello everybody, welcome back to the Celtic Throne. I'm looking for a spouse for my son as in the last episode. Um, and we do actually have a very good option here right now. That is Hasala. Now she is actually quite old, 31, but she's got genius trait. And a genius trait, as you probably know, is the most important trait that you can have. That means plus five to all the skills, plus monthly lifestyle experience is plus 30% as well. Um, so if we marry her, it is a good chance that our children would have that trait as well. So of course, it is no, well, surprise that I'm going to take her, despite that she's a bit old and despite that we're not getting any prestige. Long term wise, this is an extremely powerful trait and it's the first time that I'm actually seeing this trait on any spouse in any of my playthroughs. So yeah, we're definitely going to take it because I really want to see what's coming out of this. Now, Breathnet, has something changed here? I don't think so. Nope. He's now defending against the Swedes actually. Could we... Murder the king? No, we cannot do that. And just look at his children. He's got lots of them. He's going to be really powerful, or he is powerful already. He's going to be a problem, but he's got so many counties everywhere that he's probably defending against a lot of them. Right now, he's defending against one of them, but he's winning both wars once again. This is incredible, really. As, yeah, I hope that he's not attacking me at some point. At first, I thought the simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. However, the battle proved me more hard fought than I expected, and it gradually became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. I could use more people like you. Okay, he's pretty strong. He's a wanderer. He's got some good learning and martial skills. Yes, let's take him into my court. He's my new champion now as well. Let's just have a look at my army. I still can have one more champion. So this is an event that happened because my marshal is training commanders right now. So of course, that is something. Now also something is happening. No sheriff appointed. The Olam of Ormond gained the lack of sheriff um, because my steward has such a poor skill that we have him. He is only a champion of mine. So he's not even a vassal. Do we have something with better skills? Yes, we do have actually some here with 10 stewardship skill that would cost me though something that i cannot afford at the moment but yes we do need a bit more money there as well today i'm observing chieftain magnus as he trains that is my son uh some of his new levies but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than any army i look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation clearly pushed to his limits oh no yeah my son is not very good with commanding and stuff like that teach him what i know about command he will get a martial skill. It's the only positive thing here. Magnus loses 10 opinion of us, but that's that's something we can easily afford. And oh, advice rejected as it ha Ooh. On his shoulder he throws up his hand and shouts, This is not my fault, Augustine. These idiotic peasants don't know their right. Oh, he's not a very good person, right? My son. He's got a good wife now. Hopefully that changes something. And another thing has happened right now is that Brafne here is now also part of Sweden. Sweden is incredible at the moment. I don't know what to do against them. We do need some alliances. We also got once again some religious war far away, but I don't care about that. What we really need to do is get uh, go against Sweden there. And for that, let's just have a look who really hates them as well. Um, getting stuck in. This little fella, here's my daughter actually. <laughs> there was a commotion among the children today. Dub Lemna, which is my daughter, was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became the target of... She she tried to preach? She's too... Eogan intervened and did what he could to protect her. Alright, he gets brave. Eogan gets the trait brave, so that's pretty good. He's my youngest son right now. Um, Moenak has become a symbol of God's infinite forgiveness. Oh, very good. So, another increase in fever or fervor. What is going on with Sweden, though? I'm a bit worried here. What is what is happening there? This is a problem. He's defending against High Chieftain of Aluxna still. He's also attacking Sursin. He's got alliances with Jemtland, Estonia, and... Uh, I don't know. We can now also unlock a new martial perk, which is finally the strategist trait. So we do have tr strategist. Let's just have a look at that. It gives me plus one diplomacy and plus three martial bonus, actually. So that's we are at plus 16 now. So we would be very good at 
um, leading an army as well. Plus, we have crosses water without advantage penalties. So we can now cross counties where there is a water, like this one, attacking an army without losing any bonus. Alright, while we wait for Sweden, kind of like to make an advance on us, I think it might be coming at some point. They're pretty strong. Um, what I did, I gave two of my sons here a nice betrothal with a people that are pretty powerful as an ally. So we, right now we do have two alliances here with Dijon and Evreux. So both of them do have, well, a few people available at least. Right, and there we have it already. Once again, we have a call to war by who? By the king of West Frank here on what? Oh, no, it's join, uh, join the peasant uprising. It's just a call to war of that. No, peasant uprising is not something that I would like to join. Now, what we still want to do while we have all of that. One, another thing is that, yeah, my genius spouse died before I could get a child out of her. So in that case, we do have a new one right away. Um, she is though bossy and gregarious. So she's got very good traits there as well, plus alliance power, which is all I need right now. Now let's have a look up here. We do have, once again, Iceland as our focus because there's really no other focus I can have right now. And Iceland is actually not that strong. They do have an alliance with Mori here, which has a very insignificant army. And thus we might actually just go with conquer the county of not the inner hybrids, but I think it is Vestisland. So it's this one up here. This is what we want. This is our change. And as we can see, they're inferior in numbers. So we might just go with that. Raise my army. So we do have now our soldiers up there. I think it's yeah 1,600. It's a nice little army that we have. And we go with Iceland there right away. And we're just trying our luck there. And up here we go. There we are already. Every man for himself, Chief Magnus is fiddling nervously with his sleeve as I open the door to my chambers. What is he doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies, but I must speak with you in private. Um, I have discovered something very interesting. Chief Magnus has uncovered the secret of Grimmers. He's willing to share it with me if I let him off the hook. Um, with Grimmer, who is my marshal and champion, I would rather have you in my pocket than him. Or, yes, let's accept the hook there. We also get a nice experience bonus there with our son, which is, of course, all we want in that case. And look at that. He's actually attacking Ireland while I'm attacking his homeland. But it shouldn't matter. We're taking it now. As we can see, we got it. And now we just get back home here and kill his army there. He's going to be surprised by, because by C, we're way faster than he is when it comes to act or, well, reacting, as we can see. And thus, we have him in battle and defeat him right away. He's got a very small army, as a matter of fact. And we just take it now back. We just now take back our counties there that we just lost. This one, and I think this one here then. My capital. And once I have my capital, we should win. A scheme at court. My spymasters come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my daughter. All right, let's just see. Disrupt schemes. My spymaster is doing that, but my spymaster, yeah, he's good. All right. So we should trust him there a bit. We've gotten it back, I think, by now. What is happening? Where is his army? Because we still haven't won it yet. Um, he is, though, also now. He's, I think... Wait a second. Who are we at war against? In this war, he's got a new ally as well. As well. So that's this one. This little fella up here. Right, so this is still the guy that we need to take out. Because he's joined the war for this... Ah, come on. I just want to have his county there. That's all. And then we've taken it. It's still not 100%. At the end of field exercise, it had seemed a brilliant idea. To practice regrouping an army in this array, I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Luimnek. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half my army in place, I start to see flaws in the plan. Chieftain Condla suggests I ride out with a contingent of champions to find the missing troops. Yes. Let's search the troops. We might gain a pretty oh well a lifestyle skill. I can hear some of them from outside the roadside tavern and as one of my champions kicks open the door, my wayward soldiers fall silent. My arrival makes them stare down into the tankards with nary word a word between them. The proprietor narrows her eyes. So you're responsible for this rabble. Um oh we lose a bit of money there. We lose a bit of prestige. Let's go with the money.
and passing through a small village, I realized that though clad in simple cloth, the guards we were seeing everywhere were carrying weapons with my mark on them. Welcoming me into the muddy street was Conmel, the self-proclaimed divine guardian of the town. The soldiers had laid down their armor to help him serve God. What? How can he be someone... He's a no one. I already rule by divine right. You gain self-declared divine right. But we gain 150 prestige. That's that's more important to me right now. The last of my troops have made it back to Lumnek and order has been restored. Alright, and we get a martial skill. By this little event there. We're still gaining our war score here. Ah, there we have the army, right. So what I might do, I might just take this one now. There we have it. And, oh, we've taken some nice prisoners there as well. And there is his army that we still need to get. I think they're now going into Munster. Yes. And there we got him. Oh, and we have gained a new fasting. Uh, we have gained a new tech there for our culture as well. We were victorious once again, but it's still not over. So I think they're fleeing now to that side there, and we might just take them. Is this a naval battle then? Right, it's not. They're going somewhere. Oh, this is a, an interesting little war that we have here right now. Um, we also gained two perks. So we are in the Overseer tree right now. Um, increased control in county progress plus 20%. So that's the strict organization that we have. And another thing that is pretty cool is the Dread game by plus 20%. And Dread makes it harder for my vassals to um, wage against me. You know? So in that case, it's a trait that I really like. And let's just see what else we could do here. Where is my enemy? Oh! <laughs> He's in Thomond right now. Let's get him. And we've taken someone else. Oh, my son has been taken hostage. I think I don't think we have him back, right? My son? I think he's still a hostage, so we need to win this. Uh, my Chancellor Chieftain has proven himself highly capable, especially in matters of diplomatic nature. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the Earldom of Connacht. Um, take the reins. We would lose 75 prestige, but I think it might be worth it. Also, overtaxation. This game is hard, seriously. So far, I cannot see how we go even here at the moment. We also still have the war. We need to take it back. We still haven't truly defeated his army there. There he is, marching around. The problem, though, is really that he's just, you know, playing a game with us. Um, today I'm observing Chief Magnus as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits are under command resemble a disorganized mob. Okay, we had this already. Let's try to teach him something. And we've gained the perk for it right away. And this time he accepted the advice. Alright, so we gain 20 opinion with him, plus some experience points there as well. He's going... <laughs> look at that. Alright, we got him again. Alright, Iceland is not that easily conquered. We've defeated him once again. Let's go to his capital there. And your son Magnus is taking great interest in my work as a chancellor. Alright. Yep. Take him as a learning there. Oh, there's so many things happening. I still want, just want to win this war. Chancellor, tutelage of my son is already being fruit. He's learned more than I dared to hope. And we gain opinion with him. Plus, he's got two at, uh, diplomacy there, my son. Alright, he really needs a bit of diplomacy. He doesn't have anything there at the moment. And I'm known as a deeply pious man. Surely my devotion to God should be good for something in this life too. There are a number of people who would do well to be reminded that I am the Lord's good graces. Huh, I have been too lenient with the Abbey this year. We lose some piety but we gain 50 coin. That is something we might actually use right now. Part of commanding an army means making sure my soldiers have plenty of food. And, oh right, our network at the moment is a bit weak there, so this is a stewardship challenge. My steward 
is 8. He's poor, so this might not work. 50% that it works. 50% is good for me. And once again, we have a mental breakdown, but be because we're still stress level 1. So we've lost stress level 1, and now we've gained it again. And we have another breakdown here, and in this case here, we might just be a bit alone. Reclusive trades, and we would lose the stress then. And this is the only thing I can do right now, because the money is not there. Are, is there a queue in the background that kind of like pops these messages for me right now? Because I've got way too many events. After going through reams of financial ledgers, I was able to pick out a group of merchants scattered around the countryside, which I knew would be dependable. I just take the money, really. I, I do need the money at the moment. There we finally have the 100% and force the demands. Do it. The war is over and thus we have... Foo. We have Iceland. Iceland is now part of Munster. We also gained another perk by that and my son is also released. And now, of course, we are still in, a bit in debt. We might actually have some prisoners. Yes, this one gives me 10 and this one gives me 10. Oh, he's already having a proposition for me that's coming in soon. For some reasons, it's not. So let's give him the 10. And thus, we are out of debt again. Also, another martial point mercenary higher cost minus 30 percent this is pretty powerful let's go with this right away because i don't know when sweden will declare war on us and it would be good to have then this skill to hire some mercenaries ad hoc um in that case also here as we can see sweden has a problem though so he's defending against two forces right now and he's losing both times also his military strength at the moment is pretty weak so i think sweden kind of has outdone itself or you know overextended itself with too many wars, he's also looking quite beaten. Oh, this is a nice change that we have right now. So if I declare war on him, we might actually have a chance, you know, of getting um, Dublin back. This is a risk, though, but it's a risk that we might actually go with, right? Holdings, it's fine now. So we do have Iceland under our control. I think with this, we would also have... Then let's just check that real quick. Do we not get the county or the something for Iceland. I don't think there is anything, right? Oldham, West Island. There we have Reykjavik. The Duchy of Iceland, there it is, right? So we could create this title with a bit of money. That might be possible. On the other hand, I'm really curious about Sweden at the moment. They're weak. They're also getting a new war, as we can see. Oh, they're building up their army again a bit. But, as we can see, a new war has started as well. So they're losing right now. Let's Hmm, we might actually open up the pressure here if we want to. First of all, once again, we lost a council. So my steward, oh, we can finally, we might actually have a chance now to go with a good steward. But in that case, one with eight points is still better than one with five points, the one that we had. Let's reassign him, Grimmer, to that. And Marshall is easy usually. There yeah, we would have one, one with, oh, that's him. All right, but there's one with 16. He's a champion of ours. We might give him the position he... Do we need to train commanders still? Nope, we don't. So in that case, organize the levies would give us a higher force. We would have 2,200 soldiers. We have four men-at-arms regi regiments. So that might work for us as well. Ah, this is... Might just go against Dublin there. Right, despite all of that, I think we are not going with war against him for now. He might be the weaker one, but it would be very hard to actually, you know, to actually defeat him, kind of. So, in that case, he still has lots of resources left. Um, he's got some gold, he's got a lot of prestige to build our armies. I'm not doing that for now. So, in that case, let's just wait on that. Perhaps he dies anyway, and then, you know, kind of like loses a lot of territory there. Stuart, we do need a new one. In that case, um recruiting someone to the court is a bad thing but we do have a champion here that got some decent steward skills let's do that this gives us a nice bonus to it we also have two vassals right now that want a position on something Ostisland, this guy here chieftain conler he's so bad at most things but as a spy master he would be fine so we will give him the position of that to make him happy there um, he's only one skill worse than the other one. We could also create the Duchy of Iceland now. That's fine, though I'm not doing that for now. And I really am curious how this war turns out for him. Oh, look at that. 
he's tripled his numbers within a few seconds there. Um, and, oh! One of my vassals is inviting me to a feast. A warm welcome. I look forward to this. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Arnie. We spoke all evening about all manner of subjects and as things would have it, we seem to have a lot in common. And oh, we gained 15 opinion with him for now. We could all tell Chieftain Goodrider had too much to drink, even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. Simply rising from his seat proved too much for him and now I'm covered in stinking vomit. Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And it was a successful feast after all. We lose some stress there and we gain even more opinion with him. Um, and in that case, yes, we are still at stress level zero again. So in that case, we recovered quite a bit, right? Because we were on stress level one, actually. In that case, control territory defender advantage plus five. So if someone attacks us on our territory, we have a plus five defendant bonus. And oh, he's still losing wars though. The king of Sweden. I'm really curious about him though. He's got so many borders, it can't be that he survives for that long anymore. You know? And oh no, we are once again sick. And the treatment from our bishop did something and reduced disease symptoms at least for a year. That reminds me, my son, how are you doing? Well, we like him. He's got good skills, especially for learning. He's 32 and he's got a well, daughter so far. Still fine. We do have another son though, and that is Eogun. And Eogun has 13 learning. He's 23. Other than that, nothing. And once again, we... Yes, we do have a peasant revolt. It is down here. It is a very weak one though. Raise my armies. Yeah, let's raise them here in Thumond. And go against them right away. That we defeated the first army. These peasant revolts, I don't know what they're doing really because they're pretty weak most of the time. So I don't really need to be, you know. There's the victory already. Peasant faction has been disbanded by that. We also got a powerful prisoner. Um, since he's a peasant, he's probably not going to pay us that much. Nope, only a hook, so let's just rot. Let's have him rot in, in prison there. I don't need that. And with that, so far we are alive, that's fine. But the problem with Sweden still exists and Sweden is growing and growing. And this is, I don't know, it's looking quite horrible to be honest. Stay tuned. <laughs>